is how do we then translate the idea here? Okay, let me write the idea here to product that we that can be launched. You know, so this particular place between here and here is what we call project. Okay, this is what we call project, and translating that to real life or to real product or real service is a big deal. We then need pro we then need project managers. We need project managers. Uh, and I know a lot of people and a lot of us here, we've heard about project management. It's not a new thing, okay? And we've heard about uh, Waterfall. We've heard about Agile and all of those. And we're going to be talking about those. How do they all come together to help a project manager translate or transform idea to a product that we can launch uh, in the marketplace, okay? Now, the first thing we do when we get an idea, again, I'm not teaching you this, this is just to give you an example. Now, the first thing we do is to check the complexity of how to implement that idea. Is it a very complex idea? And I'm very sure a lot of you as well, you could have heard about this word called VUCA. No, VUCA is a common word. Uh, VUCA means volatility. Volatility, come on. volatility, uncertainty, or certainty, and complexity, so that's uh, that complexity over there, and ambiguity. ambiguity. Now, so the more the VUCA in the idea, the more risky it is. I mean, ambiguous means we don't really know much about it, okay? Volatility means anything can change at any time, just like that, okay? So when we have an idea, before we then decide as to how to go about the idea, we need to know how complex, how complex that idea is. And many organizations, uh, they built or developed in the uh, as part of the portfolio management processes, they've developed what we call project complexity modeling. That's project complexity modeling. So how do we then model the complexity of a project? Number one, we may start by asking ourselves about the customer. Sorry, I know this is a very, uh, the, the texts are quite tiny, I know, all right? Just to give you an idea, not, not to actually give you the text, okay? But you can see, see it, uh, a little bit, all right? So the first thing we, we check here is the customer. So with this idea within the organization, will it affect many customers? What impact will it have on customers? Is it no impact or just general awareness? So it's not gonna change anything they do right now? Or will it require minor behavior? Or will it require major shifts in their behavior? Because if an idea will, uh, involve a major shift in our external customer's uh, behavior or internal customer behavior, then that means it's complex. Because all of us, think about yourself, we do not really like change. You know, anything that is true uh, that will require me changing my lifestyle, I don't want it. I'll tell you, oh, can I consider that tomorrow? I want to push it off. So any idea that will require a major change from the customer will say that is the highest level of complexity. You know, then next, we're not gonna look at the risk exposure, okay? Uh, downstream and upstream processes, and there's so much risk here. No impact or the other way, I mean, the other end, major impact. And if it's no impact, that's zero. If it's at that level, that's 10, and this one is 20, that one is 40. This is just an example. This is not a rule, guys. So I'm not saying you should take this to your organization, but if your organization does not have any of these uh, project complexity modeling, yes, you can adapt. I mean, do not adopt, but you can adapt whatever I've got here in your organization. And that can be uh, ready to go as well. I mean, with just a little work, uh, discussing with some other key stakeholders within your company. Then next, we're looking at the, uh, the impact on the internal teams. We're looking at the impact on the external partners as well. We're looking at how many stakeholders will be, I mean, will be affected. And we're looking at the knowledge of the technology. So the technology that we're gonna be, I mean, if, if, if this is gonna affect tech, all right, so do we even know about that technology and the knowledge about the application of processes and the number, I mean, the number of IT platforms that will be involved or that will be affected and the, the number of application system interfaces, all of these APIs, how many APIs do we, uh, inter, I mean, APIs do we need to call into our new application? And the more the number, the more complex the project will be. 
and the number of service providers, the total cost of the project and the timeline of the project. You see, by the time we think about these and many other factors, but this is just, just, just an example. By the time we think about these factors, we know whether the project is complex or not. I mean, because that would tell us the level of VUCA within the project. Next, what then happens is within the organization as part of the framework as well, we then have a complex city score because each of these that we've talked about here, we, we could have a score in them. So this is an example of a project. So probably this one's called C here, C means 20, that's 20 uh, here as well, C again, 20, uh, that one is 10, and then, and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, we're gonna have a score, all right, for a particular project. And when we have that score, many organizations we then had to their framework to say, if a project scores between zero and 200, oh, it's not that complex, it can be managed at departmental level. And we do not even need a project steering committee for that. And when it comes to who should manage it as a project manager, we just need a junior project manager because it's not a big deal. It's a simple project, okay? But if a project scores 210 to 350, oh, that would be at divisional level. We may require a project steering committee. We need a full project manager and so on and so forth because that kind of project just complicated our standard and so on and so forth. So organizations, uh, they normally develop this uh, project complexity modeling framework to make, uh, to hate the decision-making uh, as to whether a project is simple or not. And that, that 